They were sloppy, man. It was a sloppy production job by a, a chumpy type corporation. You know, Fox, they screwed up with the mics right away. Yep. And yeah. Yeah, what was up with that? Like, Fergie wasn't even turned on. I mean, not yeah. That I- not that I care that it was, she was on or not. It was just like, you know, if you're going to do something right, you, you, you go for the kill. Yeah. With all this fancy eight-second delay, ten-second delay stuff, you, you think they would figure it out by now, you know. Um, it's just I don't know. It's, it's frustrating. Did they screw that up when McCartney was doing it? Mm-hmm. Hell no. Of course not. No. <laughs> and, you know, because he probably had the coin to you know, for a better production team for that. Mm-hmm. And Fergie, I don't know, she's a recovering meth head and uh, wish her the best. She'll probably relapse within two years, but <laughs> good for her. Way to go, girl. And, and, and you know what? We, I think the world was, wasn't really uh, caring if, if Usher was going to show up and do a big oh, jump yeah. the Oh, yeah. That's who that was. I yeah. thought it was Martin Lawrence up there, man. <laughs> yeah, Martin Lawrence probably would have been a little bit more entertaining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You Say, know, Martin, don't you get a new movie coming out? He would have done, done like some, uh, Was it? what was that character when he dressed up as the broad? Oh, Big Mama? No, Big no, Mama? no, no, on the no. TV show. On the TV oh, show. Uh, oh, boy. Shanane. Shanane. <laughs> Shanane. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Martin. Uh, that's it. Martin Lawrence. I mean, Slauson, you know, you brought in Webster uh, last yeah. week. Yeah. Why yeah. don't you bring in some Martin? Because that collection's at my parents' place right now. Oh, <laughs> mom, moms and dads. And yeah, dad. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mom and watching the Martin. <laughs> <laughs> He's so crazy. Yeah. So I loved about Martin though is like he had the gig at the radio station. Yeah, and then the guy from Saturday Night Live was his stage manager. Yeah. <laughs> what was the name of that? What was the call letters on that again, dude? Oh man, uh, I, it, I don't remember. W Z U P. WZUP. Oh, yeah. <laughs> WZUP. Yeah. That's the name we should have. Remember that. And the whole thing, well, yeah, how could I forget a Thursday night staple, Martin on the Fox Network? I think that was when the Simpsons were still doing Thursday night as well. And then they were, oh, uh, man, USA. Simpsons always been on Sunday, dude. No, yeah, no, well. they were on Thursday for the first couple of seasons. Oh, really? really? Yeah, dude. And then and then they moved more towards you know well, like because you know they had success with on, on NBC with Cosby and stuff. I'll be damned. I'll be dipped in dog dew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then they moved it out because they put Martin and Sinbad had a show My. at the same time. Remember uh, Herman's head around there too? Oh, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that was classic stuff too. That was when Fox had like sitcoms and stuff all the way up to ten o'clock on Sunday nights. Wow. Before, before the Fox News thing that that, that they experimented with. And then, of course, oh, yeah. married with children. You can't Never had that. local <laughs> news up here until like 10 years ago. Yeah. Well, yeah. the world was wait- well, I don't know if the world was just uh, waiting with bated breath for Kip Hines to emerge. Yeah. 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 Austin yeah. Shower to be the next. Uh, I, you know what? I complain about it, but I still watch it. <laughs> I, I watch that's like, like, you know, it's on right away. You know, I, I, I like Channel 10's news, you know, the Fox news, because it, it, it seems more edgy. They they do the like uh, domestic stuff, you know, uh, a lot of fire stuff. Um, Warts and all, I think I yeah. that would be the best way to describe the, the Fox News at 9 crew. And it's just. Yeah, if it bleeds, it, you know. It's making news yeah. on, on the Fox thing. <laughs> like you're going to have somebody dispatched out there. And then you know they got you got uh, Austin Shower, but then you got Ooh, Andrea yeah. Andrea Larson. Who, when you look at her, she's kind of got one of them Joker faces. Yeah. Can, can we can we talk about that former naughty newscaster that got in trouble last week? Oh, oh yeah, boy, you know who I'm talking about. We're talking about the uh, former nighttime anchor at K, uh, KXJB. Then she became the morning girl with Nick Care. Yeah. And then she went out the door to KFGO for a little bit now she took like a cheesy state job or whatever in North Dakota oh, you're talking about Michelle Turnberg, Michelle Turnberg. Yeah. Turnberg. Okay. she yeah. scored herself uh, suspicious of uh, driving under the influence and they have her mug shot too well, you can go can you go somewhere and, and get she that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. it's on uh, redenator.com and it's yeah. got a little link there under the North Dakota section and dude she looks pretty uh Pissed off in that yeah. mug shot and kind of hammered. And her lower lip is like poking out a little bit. So she's a little right? bit of a quiver thing. Yeah. Around. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe she just does it when she gets drunk and she's crappie flopping and stuff. <laughs> My kind of girl. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you just could... add her on Facebook. She has a Facebook page. Yeah. Does she? Yeah. Ms. Lawson, are you, are you a oh, friend yeah. of, of yeah, Michelle Turnberg? Yeah, I am. Yeah. <laughs> you are? I, I am. Oh, no. 
You should have said, hey, baby, I got this 625 for you to get out of camp. Well, I'm also friends with Terry Doolum, too. So, uh, yeah. well, <laughs> Have you been talking to Terry Doolum off the Tuesday Night Experiment, too? <laughs> you seem to be yakking to everybody else in the business. You know, Terry wow. Doolum, the guy's so short, you know, when, when, <laughs> if you see him in person and he happens to run away from you, he just kind of runs for a while, then disappears, you know? So, yeah, it's like... You see him sometimes when a, I sometimes see him when a rainbow shows up for some reason. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Lucky <laughs> charm. Yeah. 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 Oh, we're making, oh, man. We're making friends now. <laughs> well, radio people and TV people generally do not get along. I, I've got a little beef with uh, Neil Carlson over there in Grand Forks. And yeah. why? He tried punking me at the bar. Uh-oh. Wow. Yeah. I was sitting there drinking at this Catholic bar in Grand Forks and Knights of Columbus. Woohoo! You know, <laughs> uh, getting sauced up there, and uh, that okay. bald that bald headed dude happened to walk in there, and he was sporting the KVLY stuff, and he's got the colors he's representing. And uh, you know, I told him, I said, uh, "What kind of TV station are you guys running down there?" Because this is when uh, that one blonde lady in the morning got whacked over the head with a frying pan. Stacey oh, no. Deffenbaugh. Yeah. I haven't heard about this in a long time. That name has been uh, And I, I was lost giving him ether. crap about that, and he's coming back saying, I got a recorder on me. I got a recorder on me. I'm recording this. I'm like, whatever, dude. You know, he was just being a, a jerkwad right gotta, at the you bar. You got to put your off-duty uh, post here right away because nobody wants to do that. You're off yeah. I mean, that's, I, just, I, that's poor form. I know. And I, I told Neil, I said, dude, you want a beer? I got a recorder on me. I'm recording this. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, and I was like, okay, Mr. Neil Carlson, mellow out, buddy. He's probably recording you right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, uh, I don't know. We're going you know, to go for I don't know. It's That's a good example. Radio people and TV we, people we just, just do mix. not blend. We don't mix at all. Imagine having, like, your corporate Christmas party with the radio people right down the hall and the TV people on the other side, man. Just imagine the fist fights going on in the parking lot. But, but this is the thing, though. It's, That's it. I'm taking Terry Doolittle's wife I, home. I, not I, I, th- I, I always thought they, they always would work because, come on, man, audio and video. They go together. No, see, the TV people... <laughs> They they got the arrogance because they got their mugs on the air. Uh-huh. You know, I mean they're 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 yeah. They're I got heads. the looks and I got the voice. So what? We just got the voice. Yes. Not the look? Yeah, we <laughs> got the face for radio, buddy. <laughs> and speaking of great great radio voices. Oh yeah. We got a, a fantastic segment coming up. Oh, it's 15 boy. minutes after eight o'clock. You know what that means? It's time once again for the most popular segment on the Tuesday Night Experiment. <laughs> Oh, boy. Sugar Sean Slot like DVD there. review. <laughs> TK, TK, uh, TK guy it's or like whatever. It's like 3D on your right. radio. Yes, yeah. the, it's time on the T&E for some to DVD. The left to right. <laughs> the left to right out of sight. Uh, Almost sound like surround sound there for a sec. What? <laughs> Something like one of those little cruisers on the Jeff or <laughs> the Jeffersons. Jeffersons. <laughs> Jeffersons. Jeffersons. Yeah, we're moving right up. It's okay, Weezy. Song. Let's move right up into some uh, Sugar right. Sean uh, DVD review. I, yes, Gary, you want me to hold your camera? Can sure. I zoom in? Yeah. yeah, if you want. All right. Oh, it be better than it's better. Hey, Gilbert Scorsese over here is going to get some okay. tight shots <laughs> here. Okay, so... All right, let's now rock and roll, buddy. Hold the camera. I think it could be a lot better now. So, hey, man, at least I got you centered. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. What is available today that came out on DVD and Blu-ray? Well, you're supposed to tell us. That's why we give you the time every week. Well, I'm going to do that. <laughs> uh, this uh, week we got Club. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> got Pee Wee's Playhouse. No. Uh, In HD. Welcome to the <laughs> drunk cam. Ah, it's Columbo, <laughs> the mystery movie collection from 1991 to 1993. Because you know what? The vintage, the best years for Columbo movies were 1991 <laughs> to 93. Yeah, he was at top of his game then, Peter Falk. Oh, well, you know, uh, it looks like a good buy. Anyway. What a Howard, uh, Howard Don't be Cunning- looking at the camera. Howard Cunningham don't from Happy Days guy on there? <laughs> Jeez, haven't you ever been to acting class? Uh, yeah, yeah, but you're supposed to look at the camera. And you class. are not. You're just supposed to not even think yeah. it's well, there. Well, here's one that you two might like. Okay. There's actually two that came out, the original and the remake. Oh, boy. Oh. The original, uh, <laughs> I Spit on Your Grave from 1978, just came out on Blu-ray. Written by I.P. Freely? And the <laughs> remake, I Spit on Your Grave, came out on Blu-ray. So now, there you go. Now, sugar, <laughs> now, now, sugar man... 
Yeah. Have you watched those movies yet? or Because, I mean, have you watched the Columbo one yet? Or have you done the any? The Columbo any one, uh, no, I have. I haven't okay. Do you have yet. any desire to view the Columbo uh, movie? Well, that would actually, uh, I'd have to purchase the box set to do that. This uh, It's not available around here. Uh, unless, what, you got to uh, go up to Canada and get it? Or unless what? I go to Kmart or Walmart and see if they got it, but... I don't think they would. They might, but you never know. You know, there's this little thing they call the computer, and on the pewter yeah. is the internet. And on the <laughs> internet, you can go to places like Amazon.com, uh-huh. where they make things so much more convenient. Are you talking the video on demand stuff? No, I'm talking about going in and just typing <laughs> a search, and you can find it. Yeah, that's, well. Is this the right side up? <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert, our, our director, Gilbert, over here is having a, the time of his you, life. You know, I'm there, glad. There's your little oh, webcam. Thanks, boy. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, see, this is how I do it now, That I just got to do like how I do my videos. Just Montel Jordan over <laughs> yeah. here, this is how we do it. And then last but not least, that uh, came out of Blu-ray Hi, today. Chris Hansen. <laughs> <laughs> There's a movie out there that came, just came out of Blu-ray that I'm really this one I definitely will get because I have it on DVD, but I'm gonna get it on Blu-ray anyway. Yeah, but I on just, VHS too cause, and cause Betamax just, and I'm real just, to real. Because I'm just a rich guy, you know, I can afford all this stuff, you know. Yeah, I, I saw you <laughs> rolling in and you're you in rubbish tonight. sales all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it's only ten dollars, so <gasps> Uncle Buck much. came out of Blu-ray. Today. Oh, that's a classic. Oh, yeah, that's you know a what? Classic. I can uh, spare you the rod there, pal. I think that that's a good one. Yeah, I, so I don't know why they want to put Uncle Buck on Blu-ray. You know? Because what did you, you think crisp? that... Well, <laughs> what, do they just, like, dig up John Candy and, like, hey, uh, we didn't really like this scene. Do you think we could redo it? Because no, see, the quality of the video was so fuzzy back then yeah. compared to now. But why even put that on Blu-ray? It's not like... I don't know. You see, the thing about it, it's like, I looked... See, okay, I'm I not think they're lie, just trying actually. to have a switch formats again. See, see I'm not they gonna, want our money. That's right. I'm not going to lie. I actually went to Walmart a couple you hours never before, went there. before, you know, before we went to. Kenya I know. I see you right there. You gave me my shopping cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. <laughs> anyway, just like Grandpa Simpson. <laughs> I saw I saw the Uncle Buck Blu-ray and I was looking at. Look at CPA special features. It has no special features at all. Yeah. I was hoping for like a document. Well, you want to get? Well, you want to dig up candy for a commentary or what? <laughs> wow. Yeah, no, I think, no, no. I think John's See, been a little, uh, a little busy. He's gone underground. You know oh yeah. Mean? Is he a miner or what? No, I'm just. He's... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those <laughs> chili miners. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, anyway, anyway John so down here. Uncle Buck, a Blu-ray. I think uh, that is a, a classic play. movie. Yeah, I have it on DVD, much. but I think it's at the parents' place. I still have like five. Well, you like got half your stash or what? Well, literally, yeah. I have 500 DVDs at my house here, and then I have 500 more at the parents' place. We got to go to Case yeah. Casa de Slauson <laughs> to the to the family <laughs> so, compound to go get a few hey, of these hey, movies. Hey, they're enjoying it, and I know if they're listening right now on the radio, <laughs> the they, they listen to me and they <laughs> they watch all the stuff I got. So whatever, that's you know, all good. What, they, you just like give them a list of things to watch, and you force them to watch it. They well, I got I got a little bit of everything. Hand, you, kneel you, to a chair. Even what? when the nephews and nieces come over, you know, there's something that they can watch too. So it's a little bit for everybody. Do yeah. your parents like the movie Misery? I think. I believe Dad's yeah. probably seen it. I've seen it. There we go. There we I, go. I like. Yeah. There's uh, certain parts I really can't watch in that movie. Oh, you mean when he chops his legs off or whatever? Oh yeah, whatever. when she re-breaks them and stuff. Oh, that's yeah, hard. yeah, that 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 kind of hurts. Yeah. Uh, what's her name? Bates. Kathy Bates. Kathy Bates. Yeah. Kathy Bates. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, not Norman Bates, but Kathy Bates. Well, yeah. that's a character, <laughs> Sugar Man. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Love you, Sean Lawson. <laughs> yeah, speaking of reminds characters, reminds me of those chicks who used to stalk me at Clear Channel in Grand Forks, man. I bet if you uh, oh, you just oh yeah, <laughs> you're the crazy big, ones there. You're just a big stalking stuff. I just told her, I said, honey, you better get back to the mission, man. It's almost lockdown for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, Slawson, what else you have for us? Well, we All got right, hit pic- it up. We got the picks of the week. Because oh it boy. wouldn't be an oh, experiment without the picks of the week. You know? <laughs> and and the, I got two of them this week, obviously, as I always do. Uh, the first one is the Toy Story, the complete film set. Didn't you use that one last week? Uh, uh, hey, uh, that's a repeat. You had Toy Story uh, on before. I did. It should be Toy yes, Story, you did. Toy Spelling, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I never had Toy Story. Yes, you something. have. When man. did I have Toy Story? Should we go to the tapes yeah, or what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember I never had archives Toy Story. Here. I don't think I had Toy <laughs> Was that Story. Waste bin? Well, anyway, I know for a fact that I did not bring what I have in here. 
Oh, you only geez. started doing that gimmick a couple mo- about that. a month ago. Look at that. Yeah. So there you go, cool. Scott. You can gawk while I Yeah, talk to you. I'm gonna take this up to the pawn shop with some <laughs> drinking money. Yeah. All right, buddy. Yeah. Woo. We'll get a we'll get a picture, man. Woo. We'll, we'll be like, thank you, sassy Swanson. Well, how much do you think I paid for those? Just a rough guess. Six Total? American dollars. Six, yeah. How much? Wow. Thirty-five think? Canadian dollars. <laughs> How much in Turkish lira? Or are we talking? Yeah, how much in yeah? You talking Jeez. rupias? <laughs> <laughs> the, the euro. I, I kind of cheated well. the system a little bit. I could have went to Walmart. Paid you stole them? Thirty? No, no, no. Did you ever see the episode of the Facts of Life when they yeah. stole a man? Crap, you don't pay, dog. No, no, no. See, <laughs> I I joined the uh, Disney Movie Club just recently, and I paid four for a dollar. I literally paid twenty five cents a piece for them. Oh <laughs> man, you know. Uh oh. Uh oh. So they're going to be sending you Walt Disney crap all the time now. That's okay. Hey, that's all right. I, I'm, that's how I, they suck you uh, in, dude. That's like they're yep. going to Columbia House on you, man. Yeah. yeah. Well. Remember the back in the day where they had you put one penny on there? Yeah, yeah, and the thing was, the Columbia House, they they stuck it to you as opposed to BMG where you could buy one and get out. Yeah. Yeah. Columbia House, you had to buy so many or else they'd oh, come after your butt. Full price CDs, too. <laughs> yeah, 20, back 23 in, yeah. bucks. That was spendy, dude. Yeah, no, no, I do not want the gin blossoms. Congratulations. I'm yeah. sorry. CD. You know what they sent me one time? Uh, they sent me Michael Bolton. Oh, that's a selection of the month? Yeah. Oh, it's that recommended if you like or whatever. Uh, what I, else I, found I, Michael, I found a Michael Bolton thing. Just keep talking. Ooh, okay. Ooh. I even got uh, uh, in Vogue. Remember those ladies all sassy and dancing and singing and stuff? Oh, free your mind? Yeah. <laughs> and your mind will follow. So, yeah, I mean, toys. <laughs> to me, any, everybody needs to see a Toy Story. I don't care who you are. It, this is perfect for any age. So you guys who are like what, sixty years old? Well, you might as well bring on the Stuart Little there, comedy <laughs> boy. Hey, I mean, it, <laughs> you and your sweat the, the adventures are all different. They're not the same. You might think they're a repeat, but they're they're all the same. Oh they're God, you got to hear. I, if I can get this mm. properly queued up, I have found uh, an awesome version. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. Okay. We got some Michael Bolton coming at you. This is Michael Bolton covering Bob Dylan. Oh, geez. Oh. So, yeah, we're segueing, Slauson, but we'll get back to you here. <laughs> okay. I remember when you let me borrow the CD, Sean. I thought that you were just a fool, but now... You admit I, it? I, you, I was you, a fool. You said you wanted a burnt copy, and I said, okay, dude. Yeah, I'll hook nice, you up here. <laughs> song torn down to oh, the ground. man i want that on my ipod right now dude i just bought an ipod finally i'm gonna put this in i think we, we gotta get to the payoff here he's crossing the bridge he's crossing the bridge right now oh here it is this is where it pays off right now it feels really good what is this caribbean back <laughs> we're we're a steel drop we're out of hanging out with the beach boys yeah. too much man we're out of boat, you know, have some margaritas or whatever. Well, it might be a non-alcoholic, but anyway. Oh, this is terrible. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah, jump on that, man. Yeah, yeah. Although, he's got more, dude. He's got some really bad. This is, like, from his album. It was called Timeless. Oh, and, boy. And, uh, here we go. Let's see if I can get this one. We remember this one uh, back in the early 80s, Gilbert, you know, back yeah. when we were just. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. Let me tell you something, Marvin Gaye did this song, but Michael Bolton's doing it one better. Oh, yeah. And this was used in a commercial, too, hey. Oh, man. Yeah. See, remember that commercial with that lady's all putting her fancy fingers all over my shoulder and stuff? Yeah, yeah. that was me. That was the best 200 bucks <laughs> yeah. you ever made, man. Yeah. Oh. They're, like, they're like, hey, bye, dog. Can you do a cameo appearance on this commercial? I'm like, hey, I ain't got nothing going on. <laughs> This is like romance and music, right? It's, we are in yeah. the romance and hour right now. Yeah, that's oh, right. One more, though. One more. I have one more. Oh, jeez. I know I'm torturing everybody. <laughs> God, well, at least, least you don't have night. me singing today. No. 
I don't know. I just yeah. went... Bolton is getting his royalties right now. <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. I know this is a big rib, God, but you know, there, there's four stations that play my music. <laughs> one up in Northwest Minnesota and a soft and easy station. Isn't this just like the wimpiest uh, version of Whiter Shade of Pale already? I, don't oh, know. I, 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 I like the, the, uh, the vocal arm cover. So. Yeah, they're gonna come after him. I think they probably came with both of the guns <laughs> trained on him. <laughs> You come on, howl a little bit for us, Bolton. <laughs> right about now. <laughs> Slauson, get up, get over here. I'm gonna dance with you. Yeah. Oh, we got a get camera. Over here. We got a camera here. Let's, let's cuddle. Oh jeez. <laughs> it's uh, it's snuggling time. Yeah, we're just I, I, I know I said I was desperate, but not that. This desperate. is time for couples Sorry. dance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Couple skates. Oh jeez. Guy reminds me of Philip Collins, the Rufus oh. League. Should we get out of this? That's dumb. Oh, yeah, let's, that's, let's, that's, that's dumb brutal. That. Back to your DVD review, by the way. Okay. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> and then we'll play some music, okay? Because I'm really sorry about that. Oh, uh, no, no problem. We've got to redeem ourselves, I man. Know. We skipped we gotta... the White Fandango. So, oh. the next one the, for the pick <laughs> of the so week, sorry. anyway. All right. From 1983, it's a very it's a classic. Ernest Goes to Jail? That's not from 83. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I don't give a damn? I don't give a damn, yeah. What do you it's got? the Survivors from 1983. You remember anything about the Survivors there, Glenn? Is that uh, Walter Matthau, Robin Williams? Well, without even looking. <laughs> yeah, he nailed it, right? Yeah, hey, there you go. Anyway, Don't yes. bring a knife to a gunfight, Slauson. I'm sorry. Anyway, <laughs> yes, it's uh, Survivors. And I just watched this movie here maybe a couple weeks ago. And, man, first time ever, I loved it. You, you laughed, you <laughs> cried, you puked. Yeah. Well, it, it kind of gives you all the emotions because it's... It, uh, you know, Jerry Reed. Narcolepsy. Narcolepsy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I learned what that word meant, so, you know. Fancy I, pants and some fancy words. As tired as oh. I am from working earlier today. Ooh, I, I, dictionary yeah. boy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised I don't have any Punkin narcolepsy. Punkin' Wagnalls over there. <laughs> but Jerry Reed, Jerry Reed does a, uh, he's, uh, does a guest spot or whatever well yeah of. he's the dude trying he's to, uh, to take out Rob Williams man yeah but it's, it's kind of neat how it happens it's uh well I'll read it here because I, I know you like it when I read it yeah, jeez what are you gonna bust out Patch Adams next yeah. maybe uh, maybe uh, Robin Williams is masterful as a zany survival nut who is being zany taken. <laughs> zany really yeah zany you know like Bob Zany anyway. oh jeez <laughs> come on <laughs> He's a survival nut who is being taken advantage of by a scheming businessman preying on fear that society will break down. Walter Matthau is the perfect straight man. <laughs> straight man foil for Williams. Even though he this is an I know older I movie. Be somewhere today. Where is that? It is a theme which is still timeless. <laughs> is society getting ready for the big flush? And how do Whoosh. responsible people <laughs> I asked that question before I, after I went to the bathroom. Anyway, tidy bowl. Let's go. <laughs> how do you or how do responsible people get respond or yeah? How do responsible people respond to it? And Williams and Matthew provide one very funny solution. So there you go. Hot cha cha cha. There we go. Movie review by Snossin. Yeah. Check out the hot shoe on that guy. Yeah. So that's my check out, and I want to spend a, uh, say a special shout out. To uh, Kathy Erickson because I saw her earlier today at uh, Hugo's and uh, she said she would listen to us. So, yeah. So there you She's go. She's lying she to you, man. She was being nice. Yeah. Oh. She, well, she, you know, after uh, <laughs> busting out, uh, she did the show last night, right? Yeah. yeah. Eleven. You know, she, man, she's got, she's got to, she's got to settle down from the radio <laughs> waves, man. You got to give a gal a night off. Yeah. Right, man. Think well, of all this radiation that's floating around in here. A person just, uh, you know, is going to go home and let it uh, soak into the couch. Radiation, boy, I tell you. We're not microwaving potatoes here. How about, oh, we, how about we play some music? <laughs> how about we just rock out? Okay, we got some Weezer coming up. We got John.